As promised, this is Mama Toto, Resource and Building Center in Belmont, and we are welcomed by the staff at Mama Toto at the receptionist area. And on to the examination rooms, um, one side another, alongside the office. And on these leaves are written the names of the babies that were baited at Mama Toto. And I found that to be very lovely. Now on to the birthing rooms. So this is my first time at a birthing center. So I was really excited to view the rooms where they give birth. Um, seeing the rocking chair, the tubs, the stools. Really, this feels like a staycation and not a birthing center. Even though there was a bassinet and so forth, you really felt at home and comfortable. And mind you, you're not restricted to a room. You can go, you can walk during your laboring process. And I really enjoyed how at home and comfortable I felt toying the rooms. So this was a glad area. It was really big and there was an ensuite tub um, to give birth and the bedding and stuff you know it's bright and lovely so here the midwife is showing me what one of the tools that moms can use during their laboring process and you see it's it's anchored there it's really sturdy so you can pull squat sit back I bet you're wondering so where do you give birth and it's right here on the bed they layer the, the bedding in a way that it's protected Padded where you can give birth, and afterwards, you get fresh linen to recover with. Really? Mm -hmm. So, they could on the bed, in the tub, on the stool, kneel down, just for birth in. You're at the position of your choice. Right. So, I tell clients, you get into whatever position is comfortable. Mm -hmm. It might be squatted, right. all fours, right. and we will figure out that. Excellent. Want to know? So, so private it is. I think it's very private. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, somebody had a concern, concern for one of an emergency. Yes, and the, the arrangement can be transferred to the spare or transferred to the spare. Right. So when um, someone is here in labor, okay. you do not have a restriction on how many people are with you. Okay. We talked to you about it before because we don't want you to feel like it's a show. But it really is up to you. Yes, you know? so they can have coffee and yeah, this is where the family would be. Yeah, the fridge, the microwave, table, TV. It's all yours. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's an upstairs. Yes, you can go. So on the way up, we saw this past mom and her baby. This room is a library area and you would see that there are lots of books that a mom can pick up to read. Again, some insights and on this particular floor also is the conference room and in this particular video you will get more on the course than what it is to build up Mama Toto by one of their representatives so stay tuned for more. Hi everybody my name is Janine I am the receptionist and clerical assistant here at Mama Toto um, so today we're just going to talk about the costs for coming to Mama Toto because that is one of the main concerns in terms of choosing a birth option if, it, if you can afford it mm -hmm. and what is it like. So yeah. birth services at Mama Toto is now 17300 All of our visits, antenatal and postnatal, are $390 including the risk assessment. Um, for insurance purposes, we do accept insurance for the birth services as well as your visits. You just have to contact your insurance provider to, to kind of find out the information of how much do they cover. But for most insurance agencies in Transamigo, we do cover, um, they do cover our birth services. We do have the option for payment plans. However, when you come to do your risk assessment and you are confirmed that you can give birth at Mama Toto, then you have a conversation with the midwife where you will see where we can meet each other at. And we will come up with a payment plan that is convenient to you, but also pay the cost right. um, of giving birth at Mama Toto. Oh, what does the risk assessment involve? The risk assessment is basically coming into a consultation with the midwife. It takes about an hour. Mm -hmm. um, we give you some forms to fill out where we would get a bit of client history, your medical history, how the pregnancy history has been going so far. And we'll have some important questions that the midwife would ask 
just to get a gist of if you are a low risk patient, right. a low risk client that can give birth at the center, mm-hmm. because we work with women that have low risk pregnancy. Now, if your pregnancy does start very low risk and complications do come up, right. because you have been journeying with us and you right. have been having a relationship with us, we're able to consult and give any advice if we need to seek other options and further right. management. That's now we're going to go into the conference room and the conference room is usually used for if we have any of support services or of city classes, any dark classes, child classes, sometimes we do have um, workshops or stuff in the conference room as well. From mom in labor, she's able to use the conference room to help with movement. Right. We move around the conference room, we usually have our birth balls, um, peanut balls, etc. in the conference room. A lot of the buildings help with movement, help moms progress in their neighborhoods, etc. So we're going to go into the front.